Hi, Storytime lovers. Welcome to the third read aloud of the My Superpower series by Alicia Ortego, a series which focuses on the superpowers that we all have inside of us, such as gratitude, kindness, or breathing. Why are gratitude, breathing, and kindness superpowers? Because when you love yourself and you can love others in return, you contribute to making the world a better place. And making the world a better place is the very definition of a superpower. In today's story, Alicia Ortego encourages us to become aware of the superpower of acceptance and diversity. Because not understanding that differences are strength can result in hurtful words or actions. That's what Lisa, the primary school student in today's story, finds out when a boy she considers a friend makes fun of her because of the glasses she wears. Isn't it strange, though, that diversity can lead to mockery and rejection? Because when you think of it, diversity is everywhere. And to prove that diversity is absolutely everywhere in our lives, let me give you a few mind-blowing figures. Take nature, for instance. How many different tree species do you think there are? 50? 100? 500? No, there are 60,000 tree species in the world. What about different types of flowers and plants? Would you say there are 10,000? 20,000? 80,000? No, there are 400,000 plant species in the world. And do you know how many animal species there are? 10,000? 100,000? 500,000? Are you ready for this one? The natural world contains about 8.7 million species, with 6.5 million species on land and 2.2 million in our oceans. And even within each species, there is diversity. Take dogs, for example. You find them in all shapes and sizes. There are big dogs, small dogs, long-haired dogs, short-haired dogs. And if you have a pet, you know that even if it belongs to a certain breed, your pet is like no other. It is unique in its own cute or quirky way, and that's what makes it so special. Well, the same goes for people. There is so much diversity. Did you know there are 7.9 billion inhabitants on this planet, and that there are no two people alike? People differ in appearance, culture, religious beliefs, views, nationality, gender, and that makes the world so rich and fascinating. So, why do these differences sometimes lead to hurtful words, and how can we fix that? Well, to find out, let's meet a little girl called Lisa, who discovers that acceptance is a superpower. Hi, my name is Lisa, and I'm seven years old. I'm really rather quiet, and not very bold. My hobbies include singing. I love to sing out loud. Only in my bedroom, never in a crowd. Usually, I'm cheerful and always feeling glad, but yesterday, Lucas made me very sad. He's my friend from school, and we usually get along, but yesterday was different, and it all went horribly wrong. Through every single playtime and all through my classes, he teased me and made me cry because I wear glasses. I want to be like others, I cried to mum that night. She held me in her arms and squeezed me very tight. I know you do, my little love. But let me try and explain. If everyone were the same in the world, it really would be plain. Height, skin or hair color, or even glasses on your face, we all have our differences making the world an interesting place. I'd never even thought of it that way. What mum said was true. Then dad came in with some fruit and showed me something too. Here. I have a banana and an apple, red and ripe. I know you love your fruit, but which is your favorite type? Neither, I said to Dad. I love them both the same. Even though they're different, said Dad. 
and I understood the game. We all have our differences, Mum said. It's what makes us so unique, from the way we look and think to the languages we speak. Even Dad is different from us, with no hair on his head. But instead of loving him less, I love him more instead. What about your uncle Jimmy, the one with the curly hair? He is also different because of his wheelchair. That's right, my dad said. He can't walk at all, but that didn't stop him winning gold in wheelchair basketball. I then started thinking about all the people I knew. The thing we have in common is we're all different too. My grandma talks through sign language with the help of her hands, but she never lets her deafness ruin any of our plans. My friend Betty, who's adopted, and of all of my friends, the best. She says, "I'm glad my new family chose me. I feel so very blessed." To accept each other's differences, Dad said, is called diversity, and it means we must treat everyone with respect and courtesy. Our differences are many, making the world a better place. I'm now proud of my glasses that sit on my little face. With them, I know I see better and have a different view. They help me read my music, which makes me sing better too. Diversity is acceptance of all our different ways. If everyone understood that, we'd all have better days. Some people like to swim, and others love to run. Some people love the winter, and others enjoy the sun. Our differences are many, from our clothes down to our looks, from the subjects we love at school, and even our favorite books. Now I have this knowledge. It wouldn't be very fair to keep it to myself and with my friends not share. The next day, when Lucas saw me, he came up to me and said, "I'm sorry I hurt your feelings. Can we be friends instead?" I appreciated his apology, so to Lucas I did say, "You really hurt my feelings when you teased me yesterday." I'm proud to wear my glasses. They are part of me. It's important that you know that they are there to help me see. I'm really very sorry," he said. "I didn't mean to make you sad. Thank you for talking to me. Your friendship makes me glad." So down we sat at playtime, and I told him all my news of diversity and acceptance and the behavior we can choose. Just like all the petals on all these different flowers, diversity is beautiful and gives us superpowers. Please join me and Lucas spread the word to all you know. Acceptance is our superpower, and together we will grow. The end. So, are you ready to spread the word? Then repeat it once more. Acceptance is our superpower, and together we will grow. Now your turn. Not so fast, though. Before you start spreading the word, like Lisa, there's something important you have to do first, because accepting others starts with accepting yourself. Do you need a little help with accepting yourself sometimes? Well, it so happens that Alicia Ortego has created a super useful exercise to help you love yourself, and you will find out all about it when you get your own copy of Acceptance Is My Superpower. For more information about Alicia Ortego and her growth mindset books, you can visit her website and get some free printables. All the links are in the description box below. Thank you so much for listening. Take care. Read on. Spread the word of acceptance, and see you soon.